let's move on to Sony, but yeah, and then we could talk about the PlayStation Five and Shipwreck Solve, Shipwrecks, more airing of grievances. Um, I have more airing of grievances. I don't know, I don't know maybe. Uh, I came across this news item that said uh, people were finding out that they were playing the PlayStation Four version on their PS Five. They, I guess, had downloaded that. Um, and I noticed that, I mean, I don't have a PS5, but I noticed on Xbox, if you hadn't done any research ahead of time, you may not realize like how to get the Xbox series optimized games going. You may not realize that those have to be playing off the internal drive and not off of your external drives. Um, and it doesn't really prompt you on like the best way to get that going like it should at least on the xbox i know that the playstation must be worse because it seems like all of their user interface stuff is worse um but i feel like on the xbox they should have just as part of the onboarding look through your games on your external drive say these games are optimized pop up a little window say would you like to optimize have these optimized versions of your games running if, if you want to, we have to either move them off your hard drive onto the internal drive or re-download them. I noticed that Mortal Kombat, when I moved it over from the external to the internal, did not work. And I had to re-download it, and then it worked. Um, so I felt like that was the really the one issue that I had with the Xbox setup, was it didn't have any type of onboarding for the optimized games. And I'm sure the PlayStation, so it looks like the PlayStation has the same, same problem as well. Um, and that takes I a lot the of best is, yeah. Know what you're downloading and download it to the hard drive. It's I, like, I, it don't me... even use an external drive yet because it's not working right. Right. Well, no, I, I haven't. I haven't plugged in external drives yet, oh. just because I I feel like that's the one area that could screw up the oh. most. Oh, I didn't. I don't even think of that. I just because I, I didn't really realize like what the situation was that the games. Had you need to play yet. if you're if you're playing the game of your external drive and you're playing a crappier version of the game. But there may only be crappier versions of the game available. Not necessarily. But but it tells you it will go <laughs> in if you, if you look on your library, it'll mm -hmm. tell you you can select a filter for to show me the optimized games, and I did that. But it should do that all automatically for you. I feel and I'm just click you know window. I don't, I don't think it. it does it automatically. Yeah yeah. But uh, anyway. Did you, uh did we finish talking about the PlayStation Five? Your experience so far? What do you think uh, of the I, interface? The interface is lacking. It's not there yet. It's the uh, typical Sony like. We, well, I guess the, everyone used to do it. Like they would have this fully fleshed out interface for the console that's been out for seven years, and then like start all over. Yeah, start from scratch. I mean, it's it's you're not going to be lost in it, right? It's it's very similar to their crossbar whatever interface that they've had for a while it's just there's not a lot going on with it it's it's pretty bare bones um and they've made some like it seems like maybe it's just getting used to it but it, it seems like there's a lot more button presses needed to do things like put your console to sleep it's always uh, something like that when the new interface comes out, comes out. But the trade-off is having the same old one on your old console like Xbox, but everything works and you know where everything is. Yeah, it, and it was even like just looking around on like the PlayStation Store, like they changed around like where some stuff was. And I was just, it wasn't intuitive. Like all I was looking for was like games that were on sale or something. Like that's a typical thing for, especially mm -hmm. me to look at. I'm, mm -hmm. I just go in and look, hey, what's on sale? Um, and I was having trouble just like i couldn't tell if that was in there or not when i was looking through right uh th it, it's all stuff that it works fast like it, it's quick um the setup process is not as as streamlined and amazing as what the xbox one is when you're right. setting it up right uh like you have to i had to turn on my ps4 to set up my ps5 pretty cool <laughs> if i wanted to like pull it pull in those settings right I, you didn't funny. have to but that was like a hey you want to do this like, <laughs> not really but I, not I, give me I, much I mean, choice <laughs> it seems like you want me to do it so uh yeah the xbox was so close to getting the perfect you know setup experience they just missed that that layer with the optimized titles because that's what you you bought the new system to see the optimized i think game. they are working on it it just isn't there it's not out yet 
Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like they they could have automated that shit for you. They should automate. Hey, look, that shit for you. to play optimized games, games need to be installed on the hard drive. Would you like us to do that for you now? Yes or no? With all your well, I mean, that's it. Depends on what games you want. You know, you, you don't have, have any so choices now. You don't have many choices now. There's like it's how many? Still, there's not enough room to download every optimized game that's like, that you would even have available. You I could. No, you couldn't. I did. I I can name all the games right now. You have both Ori's on there? Well, I don't have it on mine. Why not? Because I don't download every game that exists. That's on... what you just said you wanted to do, is download I said, every on my Xbox, game. on mine, on mine. Yes. All you the want to download every game you own. In... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have both Ori games. I don't. Yes, you do. Well, they're on Game Pass. I, I mean, I, obviously, I can't download the entire Game Pass library onto my Xbox. Well, no, but just Game Pass games. You said just the games that are optimized. Ori and the Willow that, are, that I have is supposed to be like the most optimized game for the console. I downloaded the new one. Yeah, I got the so new one on there. So I got more Mortal did Kombat. Do it. So you, not only are you saying why would I do that, you actually did it. No, but I'm saying yeah, the ones I have that are optimized will fit on there. It's just it's it's Call of Duty, gotta, Avengers, it's Mortal Kombat. I don't it's think Avengers Assassin's is optimized Creed. yet. It is. is it, it says it is at least. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a filter. It just shows the list, and it's not that many. I over uh, overcooked. I got the overcooked all you can eat. Cool. You got your Fortnite on there. I it shows up. I didn't. I did not move that one over. Oh, loser! Right. <laughs> That's like the first game I'm gonna put on there. There's just not the point. My point is, there's not that many games that appear to be optimized for Series S and X right now. At least in my library, which is a lot. 191 games, I believe. Anyway, is that I don't want to say how many games are in my library. <laughs> right. How many? Yeah, I was going to say the amount of games I have in my Xbox library is not 191. It was mine's, my, actually, I'm wrong. It's 193, I believe. What's yours? Mine's like 550 something. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you guys are crazy. I'm, I don't, I, I just take what I can use. That's all. Like, I'm not, I'm not I a hazer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm, you know what a hazer is, Wombat? No. It's a pig. Someone who gets everything, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. My Scarface impression. That was nice. Thank you. 